my way to the museums now. I was just gonna, I, I was kidding about doing a piece on Belgate driving and parking, but I'm actually reconsidering it now. What in the world was this person thinking? Destroying a Meche like that? The Automobile Museum is right next door to the PTT Museum, so you can visit both. However, both are super cool, so you might get a bit exhausted if you're into this kind of shite. Oh, look at this! I love this smell. And I'll have all of these parking meters. No, this car ain't fast enough. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. It's all in Finnish colors. It's Finnish color. Oh, my grandpa used to have one of these. It was for my cousin, my oldest cousin, and then my second oldest cousin from my mom's side got to use it. She was riding it, being the cool broad when she was 14, 15. <sighs> and I can't say that these seats look very, very comfortable on the long trip. Oh, here's a regular type weekend ride for Tito, Hoja and Robert Mugabe. Naturally, you can fit four bodies into the hood. This is me, my size, and this is the Mercedes. <laughs> the hood goes up to, it goes up to here to me. <laughs> I feel very small. <laughs> when standing next to this. Man. Oh my God, this is the three-wheeled car. <laughs> Anybody who's ever watched Mr. Bean knows exactly why I'm laughing and why this is funny. <laughs> I'm not sure they have a Morris Mini here, but... But the interior is so awesome. Oh my god, they do have a Morris. Oh! <gasps> it's like a little tractor. <laughs> oh, it's from 1928. Oh my goodness. <laughs> God, I remember these old parking meters from when I was a kid. God, there's so many things that would come back to mind. I just. I've forgotten them such a long time ago. I love them. They're so romantic. I love them. Put in your coin and turn the meter and... I love these miniature models. Now we're talking. All right.
right, I'm back at my place. I'm gonna change the shoes because where I'm going next, I'll want to keep a more stable platform than this. The Museum of Illusions is a bit more pricey at 750 dinars per person. That is a juicy price. Let's see if it's worth it. So, two floors. Going up floor number one and it looks like a Tivoli. It's so funny because most of these pictures um, they won't translate to the camera because the camera doesn't um, interpret, it just uh, records. Uh, what happens is our brains um, pick up this information and doesn't really know what to do with it, it just mashes it into something. <gasps> the Ames room, this is my favorite, the leaning floor. Look at that. I'm on TV, bitches! <laughs> How did I not see you? How did I not see you? The Ames room is designed to distort your perception of reality, like most of these things. Now let's take a look at this one again. It does translate to the camera, not as well as it did in real life, but still, you get the picture. Spin the turntables and uh, look at them for 30 seconds. Okay, next floor. If I never, ever find my way out of here, what's a good thing they wrote the exit? Very James Bond. The man. This one I like. Look at this. Isn't that awesome? I need to have a friend on the other side who can with whom I can warp my face. Wanna try it? Yeah, sure. <gasps> Only poker table. You wanna clone yourself. <laughs> it's a win-win situation, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I... Me and the dogs. And some random kid. <laughs> and this is an elevator. Or is it? <sighs> okay. Watch me struggle through this again. There we go. It's not so bad if I stare into the camera. If I don't stare into the camera, I go kind of... Whoa. Okay, so the mind fucking doesn't even stop in the toilet, at the, the restrooms. Let's see if I can do my basic uh, needs. <laughs> I'm touching all these, of course. We're gonna sanitize our hands.
Ooh, it smells like curacao. It smells like curacao. I could probably use that in a drink. I have to say the Museum of Illusions is a bit too pricey for um, what they offer. It's a great place for taking your family, having kids, except for the fact that it echoes like crazy, so please. Otherwise you, you're not going to be able to hear yourself thinking. Otherwise the automobile museum was so amazing. It is so cool. And it's a place for kids as well. I mean, obviously it echoes inside, but it's a huge garage. It's not going to bother as much.